It's a lovely crude champagne. My family is very DIY. You know, I, uh, my mom would always can jams during the summer. Like we'd all go out picking strawberries and then bring them home, can them, we do our own pickles. Uh, my grandfather had this sourdough bread that we grew in Iowa. So I grew up in this family that food was very central. The, the kitchen was the heart of the home. And, um, and as a result, I always really loved food. I loved the atmosphere of the kitchen. And when I was in college, um, I met I met some some people who were really into uh, the food scene and worked in the industry and uh, I began to, to spend more and more time with them and I decided that I really liked these people I really liked what they were about and I wanted to see what was what was behind them and so that summer I went and worked at a place called uh, La Laiterie which is a small French bistro in uh, in Providence Rhode Island which is where I'm from and. Uh, and I, I worked the garde manger position. The, the chef went out sort of on a limb and, and hired me with no experience. And uh, I had the best time of my life. I loved, I loved the food. I loved the atmosphere. I loved the, the, the screaming. Uh, the, the, you know, having to keep everything tight. Uh, I just, I loved all of it. And after that, I did everything I could to just cook for free. Culinary school is, is sort of a, a very new invention. You look at almost all the greats, um, Eric Repair, Jean George, um, all these guys were in France, 16 years old, working as stagiaires. They started out as interns in kitchens, uh, working for no money, maybe getting a place to stay, you know, being fed and, and, and just sweating in a kitchen and learning the ins and outs. And, and even today, that's the most important thing. Uh, even as you come out of culinary school, you come out with an excellent base of knowledge, uh, typically in, in French cuisine, um, but you have no idea what it is to work a line. You have no idea how to, to economize your time and, and push constantly and make sure that everything comes out at a better quality level than you were ever working on in, uh, in culinary school. And so, you know, whenever I hear about kids who are leaving college and going to spend 60 grand in culinary school, I sort of groan and tell them, you know, just for your own sake, go see what it's like to work in a restaurant. Make sure that you know that this is something that you love because it's a great sacrifice to be in a kitchen. Um, and you can only do it if it's something you're truly, truly passionate about. And, uh, and culinary school just doesn't prepare you for that at all. As far as calling San Francisco the most exciting place to eat in the United States, that's tough. I haven't eaten in San Francisco. Um, but sort of based off of my knowledge of what's going on in the country and the places that I've eaten, I'd say that, that it's a really bold claim. The, uh, the product there is unbelievable, without a doubt. You know, just California product surpasses anything else in this country. And, and it allows chefs to, to do things that they can't do anywhere else. You know, if you, if you take the, the techniques and spaces and service styles of a restaurant in, say, Chicago and New York, and you apply California product, you, just, you have the most unbelievable place ever. Because it doesn't have to travel. It's at the peak of its season. It, I mean, it's, you know, middle of winter here in, in New York, we're stuck with you know, turnips and potatoes and parsnips. You know, while while in California, they're still it's it's like being in fall. I kind of feel like part of my inspiration comes from just a hunger in general. It's in my blood. When I'm not cooking, I feel like a waste. I it's what I think about all day, every day. The moment I set foot in a in a kitchen, I feel like I'm at home. 
um, and 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 not cooking just drives me absolutely insane. Nature is super inspirational. Like being on a beach, um, just being out in the countryside, and all the sort of sensory experiences that are associated with that. You know, uh, having a campfire uh, with you know the seaweed that blows into the fire. Um, going out in the countryside and, and having a barbecue or, or sitting out in a field, you know, and smelling the hay, and feeling, feeling things, touching things, just experiencing things, like all those sensory experiences are what drive me to create and, and replicate and abstract a little bit uh, as far as creating my food. I've been dying of a heart attack For your eternal company How can lost faith fulfill sacrifice Kneeling by our cross Here's my prize